Hi, I'm Jin. This is a commentary version of my Saigon Walk video. Today, I'm gonna show you around Pamyong Lao Street. As you can see, street sellers are everywhere in Saigon. There seem to be only sellers or tourists on the street. Sometimes you have to wait a bit to pass them, like now. Bang Mi at the right side is the most common street food in this area, which is different to other areas. I will tell you about it later. Vietnamese people seem to love to sit on tiny chairs on the street. You will see that very often. Cautious, even though the light is green, riders here don't care too much for red lights. Right ahead is the famous rice noodle restaurant, Pho Queen. Since it opens 24-7, it is available whenever you like. This one is definitely better than Pho 2000, which the former US president Bill Clinton visited. If you have enough time, try Pho Le in District 3 always filled with local Vietnamese. Price is about 60 to 70 thousand dong, which is more than the average price of pho, but still a great price. Do you see the travel agencies everywhere? They all speak English. You can find any tours you want here. Inside this alley, there are several decent and cheap hotels and hostels. They are quite okay, but you probably cannot escape the noise from Bui Bim Party Street unless you stay in 4 or 5 star hotels. International fast food chains, you can easily find them. I used to have a barbecue bacon waffle meal in Burger King which was 120,000 dong and that was kind of the most expensive meal there. With 120,000 dong, so about $5.30, you can only get the cheapest one, the Whopper Junior meal in America. Buses are either very old or very new. The big ones are mostly old. We had new ones come and go throughout District 7, where lots of the expats live in Ho Chi Minh City. There are several videos of District 7 in my channel if you are interested in it. As you can see, there are various ban mi stand on the street. A little tip for you is that the ones with fire make the better ban mi with fried eggs, minced meat, and much more. For your information, you can even find one-way tours around Mekong Delta for $10 including bus fare, little boat, and lunch. ABC 
bakery is so popular here because it is the only place you can get some nice breakfast bread. The quality is not too bad, just like a supermarket bakery. At least you can get some nice baguettes whenever you want. But look at it closely when you buy pastry. Once I found a little fly on my egg tart. Ugh. Did you consider renting a motorbike? I saw a lot of tourists driving bikes without problems, but remember, you do need an international driver's license. And the license should, of course, cover the type of vehicles you want to ride here. Keep that in mind. The guy who raised his hand there is a bike taxi driver. It's very easy to find bikes and taxis in this area. Just be careful not to be cheated. Highlands coffee is easy to find all around the city. Drinks are cheap, internet is fast, and the air conditioning is great. The only thing I didn't like was the jelly they put in the cold drinks like chocolate or iced tea. You can of course ask the staff to not put jelly. The traditional Vietnamese hat is called Non La. It is cheap and very useful in this weather, but such a typical tourist icon. Whenever I visit this area, I have a meal at the Thakka Plaza. In this newly built underground food court, you can find various food from, of course, Vietnam, Thailand, China, Italy, Korea, Japan, India, and Turkey. It is not a place for the best food in town, but good enough and it has a pleasant environment. I definitely recommend a pizza restaurant there called Pizza Company. It has really really nice American style pan pizzas. It fits perfect with the Vietnamese chili sauce. Try it! see a lot of mobile phone shops in Saigon. Expensive smartphones are still expensive in Vietnam. Also, I saw a lot of phone brands from China. That park gets so crowded after sunset with local people playing sports. If you want to make some Vietnamese friends, just sit and wait around this place. Young Vietnamese will soon come to talk to you. is the place where local hipsters gather at night. I think clubs and bars are not that popular among the local people in Saigon.
always watch out. McDonald's in the hostel area is here. The quality is the same as abroad and the price is a bit cheaper. dangerous, isn't it? I hope it is all over now. Behind the petrol station is the Bentan bus stop. Most of the city buses pass the station. Come and check if you have a plan to take a public bus. Also, check out the app called Bus Map. It's available in English and even offers GPS tracking for all the buses in the city. The famous Bantan market is over there. Well, I don't even need to mention it, I guess. Better to investigate the price first before buying things there to not get scammed. <laughs> 